Hello everyone, it's Angela here. I want to talk today about a concept uh, called spiritual bypassing. And this is a, there's a widespread tendency of people who are in spiritual communities and using spiritual ideas and practices to sidestep or avoid facing unresolved emotional, psychological issues and uh, unfinished developmental tasks you know, regarding childhood or maturing as an adult. And there are five or six main ones. Today I just want to talk about one. And that is specifically avoiding conflict in the guise of being peaceful. Okay, so often we utilize this sense of peace. We have to remain peaceful. We have to be tolerant of others. And what we're really doing is bypassing our own human hurt, human anger, which is actually leading to deeper repressed anger and emotion, which will lead to depression and ultimately rage and acting out. So when we're avoiding conflict, we're actually overriding our basic human emotions. Some of the ways uh, that'll manifest is that we make excuses for other people's behaviors. Right? We, we're not willing to confront the conflict, so we make excuses for others. Another way is, is that uh, we don't acknowledge that other people are being hurtful or they're being neglectful. All in the guise of, oh, no, 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 we have to be spiritual. We have to be peaceful. We have to be loving. And all the while, maybe you're getting hurt and maybe you're being neglected in a relationship or in your, you know, in your house and, and duties and stuff like that. Um, another way we conflict avoid is we don't honor our own experience of being hurt or disappointed or even dismissed, right? We're not honoring ourselves, and therefore the people around us don't honor us. And again, we're avoiding something in order to be spiritual, but we're, we're really lacking in self-respect, okay? So this all of these behaviors stem from early childhood and making sure that we are loved, the highest aspiration, but at the cost of our needs not getting met, all right? So we avoid in order for conflict not to happen, and we call it being spiritual, but in fact, we're just recreating the family of origin wounding of being not seen and not heard. And usually the conflict avoidance is motivated by trauma or fear from the past. And it's not being motivated by compassion, right, or higher wisdom. So when we're working with the psychology as well as spirituality, we have to be very, very clear on our psychological wounds. And when peace and harmony and compassion and wisdom are being called for, and when actually we're avoiding human contact. So I want to talk about each of these different um, spiritual overrides that we find in spiritual communities. This is the first one. The next one I'm going to talk about is codependence in the guise of compassion. So wait for that one. And I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think of this. Keep the faith.